Hawks are taking on the Grambling State Tigers in less than an hour. And in the past, tailgating has been the highlight of the day for many fans. But this year is a little different, and NBC 10's Anna McAllister explains why. Just beyond this fence, the game of the year will kick off for the ULM Warhawks and the Grambling State Tigers. For years, this very spot, the Grove, has been the location for hundreds of fans to unite and celebrate the glorious sport that is college football. Now, all it is is a mound of dirt. We've had to move, and it's, it's, it's a whole new tailgating spot. It's learning. This is obviously the first game with the whole new setup and whatnot. So nobody really knows if it's going to be good or bad. Now a husband and father, Harley Sieno is a ULM alum and former Warhawk tight end. For Sieno and his family, football is a part of life. In fact, his family has tailgated in the Grove for nearly a decade. But the new construction for ULM's medical school has pushed the Sienos and other fans out. There was a lot of trees where we were at. Obviously, out here now, there's, there's not a lot of trees in shade. Uh, so that's obviously one concern people do have. The blistering heat taking on another meaning for a loyal fan and barbecue connoisseur Norman Amos just a few yards away. Like the Sienos, Amos has been tailgating these football games for years, but he doesn't seem to mind the change in location. I understand that you know, progress has to be made and you know, changes have to be made, and we just have to adjust. Uh, that's for the benefit of the university. For the university, we're willing to move and do what we need to do. It's the end of a tradition for diehard fans who are used to camping out in the Grove. But despite the change in location, the team spirit remains the same. ULM, Gremlin, go out and give your best. Let's go. It's simple, right? There ain't nothing else to say. Reporting in Monroe, Anna McAllister, NBC10, your local news leader. ULM's new medical facility is scheduled to open sometime next year. 